All right, another one of these. Apparently, the sound is not that good when I have this with a air conditioner, especially when I blow it. Oops, forgot to even start the car. Boom, boom. That's why they call me seeing funny. So, anyways, what we gotta talk about is Goosebumps Haunted Halloween. Well, Mr. Dave, part of the used to be D83, which again, rest in peace. He actually got to see the movie. And I got freaking screwed over because what I heard is completely different from what happened in the movie. So, the, yeah, that means that I have to make a retraction video, which I can't right now because I can't even access the thing. But I had to do a retraction video because, well, it turns out that AMC got their sh correct. I'm the one. I'm the one who got led astray. And it's like, what? What? Yeah, so apparently the trailers were very misleading. Who knew? Because the trailers actually made you think that Slappy is actually alive right now. And oh yeah, spoilers, people. These are spoilers. I haven't really watched it myself. I'm going by what he said. What Mr. Dave said. So here we go. Spoilers. If you don't want spoilers in the movie, you haven't watched the movie yet, run for your damn life. Run to your damn life. Turn this video off. Run. Go back and then come back over here. Okay? All right. Let's get started. All right. So we thought Slappy actually was alive to begin with, but it turns out that Slappy, yeah, Slappy is kind of one of those ones. It's like you have lots of people who have dial-up. You have lots of people who have dial up and then you have ones who have very fast internet it looks like slappy instead of being dial up from the first i mean sorry wireless internet from the first movie he's dial up that means you actually had to read the freaking you have to read the spell to activate him what the fuck and then they're like okay well here here's how here's explaining it here's how to explain it it turns out that that house of Ariel stein was an earlier house of his Okay, and the book is actually a manuscript that he was working on that wasn't finished yet, and well, that's why Slappy is completely crappy. <laughs> yes, I said it. I said it. Slappy is completely crappy. So with that said, you have to read the magic spell, and he comes to life, and he tries to be your friend. I'm your friend, Osborne, and it's like. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, so you can kind of tell that, I guess, Slappy, this Slappy is the pre-stages. Because the previous Slappy, he wanted revenge on Stein. He wanted revenge on his brother, his, sorry, his father. He wanted revenge. This one, on the other hand, he's not at revenge yet. He knows he was abandoned, but... Yeah, and the whole thing about the mom getting kidnapped, yep, that actually is in the movie as well. And I'm like, oh, I thought that wasn't going to be in the movie. I thought all that we got from the movie novel was actually the first draft. But it turns out that most likely, just like the movie novel from the first movie, at least 80% that's in the movie novel is actually correct. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's like, yeah, if it's like that, I'm like, hey. And chances are there might be some differences. Good news, there might be some differences. But personally, I'm like, hey, if you're going to just give us the movie like that, and this is not the movie we asked for, or you even advertised in the first place, for the love of God, give us the damn script of Horrorland. And I said that in another video, another video. It's like, why don't you just give us the manuscript, the movie novel of horror land as well it's like frick give us that movie novel we would love to read it what it's gonna show that oh yeah this movie sucks and that horror land movie that should have came out would be freaking damn awesome yeah we know that we freaking know that <laughs> we all know that crap we know that all right so let's see uh do, 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 do. <laughs> that's Basically, it's, this movie is going to be a disappointment, and that's going to suck. It's like, the movie is going to be a freaking damn disappointment. Personally, I kind of would like to agree. Maria didn't really say it, but I kind of think it's true, and damn you, truck, for freaking screwing me over. But anyways, I think Maria has a point, or basically, I just thought of the idea of, why couldn't it be Mr. Wood? Mr. 
Mr. Wood was in the first book of The Living Dummy, so why the hell do you not just have Mr. Wood in this movie? And it's very simple, because Slappy is the number one iconic character from Goosebumps. To have Mr. Wood here would be something that actually just basically says, Oh yeah, this is a Goosebumps movie, but everyone's going to be whining and be like, Where's Slappy? Where's Slappy? Where's Slappy? Mr. Wood, who the hell is he? And it's like, in a standpoint, it does make sense why Mr. Wood would be in this movie instead of Slappy. It makes sense because it's a novel that he wrote way back. And he didn't get an idea. Well, technically, Slappy, from what I heard, is that Slappy actually was... He was actually created as a child. Yeah, Arl Stein created Slappy as a kid. So, yeah. Even though technically it's kind of messed up because it's like, well, he created Slappy as a kid, but technically I would figure Mr. Wood would be the one that completely is horrible. It's like, you would figure Mr. Wood is horrible, Slappy is the lesser of two evils, so he actually made Slappy a little bit more. Yeah, he actually played with Slappy more. But of course, Mr. Wood was too hardcore. It was like, it makes sense how we don't get to see Mr. Wood at all in the first movie, given we have a game tie-in that technically says that Mr. Wood, somehow, Arl Stein doesn't know what Mr. Wood looks like. He actually is still over there in one city, meaning that he's still wrecking havoc in one city. Thus, why another Goosebumps game should have been made. They're like, Mr. Wood Revenge, or Mr. Wood Strikes, and it's like, yeah, so Mr. Wood most likely was clever enough to be like, and it's kind of funny too if you think about it, because it's now rever it reversed the roles, where Mr. Wood actually has come alive, and he was waiting for Slappy to be gone, just like in the first, move, first book, where it's like, Slappy was waiting for Mr. Wood to be gone, so he could finally reveal that, hey, I'm alive, where are you slaves? <laughs> Where are you? It's like, man, that makes sense. It's like, that's some funny crap there. But yeah, Mr. Wood, he technically... He should have got a video game of himself right now. He should have had a video game. He should have been actually something that's like, oh, that's cool. Instead of... He does a, he gets shown, he kind of gets a nice little wink and a mention in the game. And they're like, oh, well, here's a nod. But technically... That actually is snappy. Yeah, that's snappy now. Yeah, we've been declared that that dummy actually is snappy. It's not Mr. Wood, but technically it is Mr. Wood. It's like, yeah, there's some freaking controversy with this crap. It really is. It's, it's really controversial. Very controversial. So let's see what else. Um, Well, since this is technically a unfinished manuscript, apparently Slappy has the power to... Like we already called it, and some person had to be such a, a little bit of a jerk bag. It's like, if I do have his freaking comment on here, there you go. Yeah, it's like, oh. <laughs> Anyways, we can all figure that Slappy made the Halloween decorations come to life. We figured. How did he do it? Well, of course, we got a clip, thanks to Maria, that actually showed that he actually said the magic words, and they come alive too. Okay? And also, apparently, Slappy does transportate, not transportation, <laughs> teleportation as well, which, and like I said, well, actually, I didn't even have the Goosebumps versus movie, I mean, video, it's, it's, I'm still trying to get it, I'm still trying to get it, it's, it's freaking delayed, but it's still trying to get it, it should have been out, like, last year or so, but, yeah, thanks for laptops being bastard asses, yeah, it's like, yeah, they're being bastard asses, anyways, so, Slappy is able to teleport. We saw that in the first movie. He is technically was teleporting throughout the room with flickers of light. And I was like, what the hell is this? Is he electro? Does he have some electro powers too? Kind of like that um, questionable guy in Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, but still, he had teleportation powers already. It's just that he didn't show it that much. He didn't show that much, and then in the newest movie, has it, but they don't want to lean into it. They're, like, hinting at it. Yeah, so they're basically hinting at it where he's able to teleport and crap, but they don't really want to say he can teleport. And apparently, telekinesis as well. Hmm. Well, 
that was book for book book wise. He does have telekinesis, considering Sun Slappy had that happen. I think so. Yeah, that's another one where it's like, yeah, yeah. I'm th pretty sure we already got that under telekinesis. So basically, you went to a store and made some Halloween characters alive, Halloween decorations alive, which I think it's interesting. It's pretty cool. The only messed up part is the monsters he made, except for two, they actually aren't in any books yet. Like this time, he already said, he said that this movie was most likely just thrown. It was just made together, just thrown all together. Yeah, and I'm like, well, you know this would happen, right? We had Horrorland 2. But then Jack Black had some issues and all that crap. So then they were like, oh, well, then we got to scramble and make a freaking another movie because, well, Goosebumps did pretty good. So they made another movie and another movie. They were like, oh, just, yeah, welcome to Sony. Like I always say, welcome to Sony. That's what Sony does. Sony actually does this type of crap. They do. They make this type of crap. They freaking did. They even did it with Venom where it's like, well, even though they had someone whispering in your ear that's saying, hey, this is going to be a good movie. This is going to be a great movie. He's a great villain. He's going to make a good movie. And it's like, yeah, yeah, but still, dude, it's kind of messed up. You just backstab Spider-Man after all of these, after a freaking few years. You just backstab him. It's like, what the fuck, man? And, of course, why do have them? It, yeah, they don't have a real good story arc when it comes to the Venom movie. But, hey, they wanted to give people what they want. And that's what they did here. They gave, they somewhat gave the fans what they wanted. They wanted another Goosebumps movie. They wanted more Slappy. So there we go. The interesting part has to be the fact that, uh, there's lots of stuff. I already talked about its tower and everything. That this is kind of a makeshift, like, city or town that they created. Small town. <clears throat> interesting that Slappy actually used used the freaking tower. I didn't know that part. I thought that was the end game. The end game was him using the tower. No, no, no. That's not the end game at all. I'm like, what? That's not the end game? What? So, yeah, that wasn't the end game and, well, it's pretty with the frick. So, of course, well, Arl Stein did show up, but he showed up like at the last bit of the movie. And they were able to voice, he was able to voice Slappy all the way through it, which is like pretty cool. But I feel sorry for a Goosebumps number one Ozzy fan because he did say that a person who voiced Slappy for the two two freaking video movies, he didn't get a time to shine. Yeah, and I was kind of like a little bit sad being like, oh, so you're now going to switch Slappy's voice already in the second movie? That seems pretty damn crappy as a freaking damn movie, isn't it? It's like, oh, we have one voice here, and then we have another voice there. It's like, why can't you just get that guy to voice Slappy all through it? I'm just saying. Or it could actually just show the fact that there's two different Slappies. You have the first Slappy in the first movie who's pissed off at Stein, and the other one that kidnaps a mom because, yep, he screwed over my funny, funny thing I did with the mom. No, it turns out that he wanted to steal the mom so he can have a mother. Because his father abandoned him, so he needs a mother to actually care for him. That's pretty damn stupid. That's pretty damn stupid. Let's see anything else. Uh, I think that's about it. Besides, Stein actually didn't do anything at all. Since Stein didn't do anything at all. Until the very end, it's like, oh damn, that sucks. Uh, let's see anything else. I'm trying to squeeze right into this. Because I have to go now. Let's see, anything else? I think that's about it besides the very end. It looks like Slappy actually absorbed R.L. Stein into a book again. So it's like exactly what I thought is going to happen. Is that they're going to continue on with this cliffhanger crap. Where it's not going to be resolved until never. Because that's what Goosebumps does. Is that they do a <laughs> you know, crazy ending where it's like, what the fuck? And then the next sequel, they don't even talk about it. It's like it never happened. Yeah. So there we go. From his perspective, 
The movie is not that good. It's very messed up. Everyone wanted Horrorland. You talked about Horrorland, and then all of a sudden, it's in this Jack Black guy. It's like, you should have nailed in the stone. The freaking, um, the house with the clocks on its walls? Frick that sh- <laughs> Frick that shit, okay? It sounds too much like freaking Harry Potter. Freaking W. WB Warner Brothers and freaking um, J.K. Rowling should have stopped it right there and said, oh, hell no. They should have actually made that movie get delayed so damn much that it's like, yep, that's not going to come out until three years three years after Goosebumps movie. It's like, yeah, they should have freaking stomped that crap, but they didn't. And I'm like, what the f-? Because it sounds too much like Harry Potter in a way. It kind of does. And it sounds like a few other movies too. And I'm, they should have got ganged up on and kicked but yeah, for it's kind of sucky. I'm gonna watch it myself and make notes and stuff. But oh yeah, and also the haunted mask. So they did do the haunted mask, and it actually went on someone, but it turned into an Igor instead of an old man, which I think he was an old man already. So he turned him into an Igor-like individual. So that's kind of sucky. But that just means the point of why the hell couldn't the werewolf be werewolf skin? Why the hell couldn't that happen? Like, you got two ideas. One, werewolf skin. Yeah. And then whoever else is in. So basically, you'll have like at least three people at the store about to close it. That man gets freaking taken with the haunted mask. The werewolf skin jumps on another person. And Harriest Adventure, why not? That jumps on someone too. So it's like, oh, fuck. So it's like, that would be cool. Like, finally, we're getting into items that you put on your face that curses you that's about damn time but we only get that and they did that wrong and it's like oh my gosh you did that wrong how the fuck did you do that wrong but yep they did that wrong yay that's awesome that's about it. That's basically the whole entire thing we need to talk to, talk about. Too bad Prince Koru couldn't actually be here. Instead, it's just some random non-existent mummy. So that's pretty sucky. I'm going to go. I have a scary day. I have a scary night. Actually, I have a scary day because it's October. Time to give you guys some scary freaking videos on the daytime too.